Hi everyone, welcome in to Energy Upgrade. It is so great to have you here this first full week in February and it has been a wild ride so far. I'm sure you can agree, you can feel the energy shifting, you might have a lot going on um, or maybe not so much going on this week that's causing you a lot of stress and anxiety. If you are, you're in exactly the right place to receive an energy upgrade using ancient and modern modalities. I'm Lisa Albin. I'm a certified feng shui professional. I own Cloud9 Feng Shui, where I'm best known for my energy upgrades using the ancient modalities of the Yi Jing, Feng Shui, combined with spiritual dowsing and other ancient modalities. And I also am best known for my use of the most modern modalities that you'll get to experience right here on this channel, Energy Upgrade Feng Shui Tips for 2021. Let's get started today. If you're new here, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any energy upgrades or feng shui tips that I will upload to you weekly. Weekly, you'll get new content fresh from me. I put my heart and soul into it and it's been a great calling, uh, a mission of mine to share what I do on a bigger level. There's no better time than now for energy upgrades. Without further ado, let's get started into this week. I've consulted the Yi Jing and my question was, please tell me what is the energy surrounding the first full week of February for those seeking an energy upgrade? And thank you. And that's what we're all here for today. But before we get started, I'm going to jump into my modern modalities, my stress reduction software. And I've gone ahead and entered in energy upgrade YouTube channel that you watching at home. And right now I'm gonna optimize our connection using the most modern technology out there, software developed by the best energy masters in the world, quite frankly, have come together and put together this energy stress reduction software that a few of us around the world are using. And I feel a great calling to share this with more and more people. If you're a practitioner and you're interested in this software, reach out to me, ask me how to get involved in the comments. I'd love to share it with you. And if you are just simply a viewer or a client of mine, you already will get to experience the benefits of stress reduction. And you may understand that stress is at the root of many of our problems we face in life that impedes us from making good decisions. It impedes us from getting great rest. And eventually that stress can manifest into something bigger and we don't want that to happen. So I've gone ahead, I'm gonna optimize our connection and this intuitive software does it for me. I don't have to know. I know that this software has been imbued with the best intentions of all of the strongest energy professionals out there. And this software uses intuitive discernment. It's not artificial intelligence. It's not programmed by humans to do what it does. It uses artificial discernment to access our aura fields, our life force energy or chi, to get a read on it, assess it, and then manipulate and send us energy that we need to replenish all those little holes in our aura field, take out, pull out all of that stress for us and harmonize and balance our energy. And um, it's all done through the great power of intention and it works through the back channels of EMF. So me being a feng shui professional, I understand that I'm gonna go ahead and prove these values that it's generated. I understand that with every good, there's bad. With uh, every yin, there's a yang. So there's a flip coin um, to any situation. Just like EMF, we know that there are negative uh, effects of EMF. Well, there's also positive. This software works in the positive channels of EMF to harmonize, to assess and harmonize our energy. So right now we are at our highest optimized level 
to receive an energy upgrade today. And I'm gonna come back here to the outcome of this week's Yi Jing reading. And the Yi Jing is an ancient text. It's also at the root of feng shui. It is based on our scientific discoveries and scientific evaluation of nature, the five elements of nature. And that full understanding of nature gives us information about how we can move forward and approach our own lives with grace and ease and clarity understanding nature and therein lies the harmony and balance that i hope to achieve through the ancient philosophy and art and science of feng shui so if you're new to feng shui it's not a religion you're not going against your religion it is a way of life and it is your own intention and intuition that is of the utmost importance so feel free to bring along your favorite mantras, your favorite beliefs, your favorite prayers, and make it your own. This energy upgrade tells us the energy of this first week of February starts in synergy. I love the word synergy. It is such a word of the year as we're moving into this lunar new year. Um, you may hear about it in uh, the other feng shui channels that it is the year of the metal ox and the metal ox from what i understand is all about collaboration doing things together and what this hexagram tells me number 12 hexagram b what it tells me is the outcome of the elements the outcome that the elements can achieve is so much better when done together than in isolation so that applies to us in our endeavors and what our goals are. Things need to be done together to be most successful, not, not in a silo, not alone. So again, we go back to everything that we've been receiving uh, thus far this year from the Yi Jing. The guidance has been all about finding our people. So are you finding your people tell me about it below in the comments if this is resonating with you with that big idea that you had in january have you started to find your people your helpful people those that are going to support you and is your idea tying in with a larger cause of helping more and more people um, that community vibe so if you're just tuning in, we are receiving an energy upgrade and I am reading to you a consultation, a divination from the Yi Jing, the ancient text of the Yi Jing. Before we continue on this beautiful reading, let's go into our stress reduction software and I am going to type in your names. So energy upgrade, YouTube, channel. This is for all of you watching out there. We are going to auto select things that might be in our collective aura field that need to be cleared. Let's reduce the stress. This is going to work in the background. Some of these things may resonate with you. Some of these may be something you've watched on TV or read in the news, but we are going to pull out that stress that has been embedded in our aura field. Oh, excuse me, I have to cough a second. <coughs> oh. Oh, a lot of talking here. Very excited. Let's get back to our Yijing reading while that runs. So, going back to that big idea that you've come to have this relationship with in January, something that you desire so much. Maybe you found that this first full week of February, you've been spinning your wheels you've been exhausting yourself so much energy and endeavors i am sad to say that being the busy bee that you are all of these energies and exhausting yourself is only going to exhaust you it's not going to get you further for your goal what we're going to do here is take a little look within your object or your goal this grand idea that you desire and yourself are interrelated they're dependent upon one another as well 
So the magic is going to be in this interaction of yourself with this great idea, with this goal that you have. So live as if you've achieved this goal already. Maybe it's in your mindset that you have these dreams. Maybe you meditate over it. Or maybe just as your feet hit the ground every morning, you're walking into your new life um, as if you've achieved this goal, this object of desire or um, person that um, you desire, whatever the situation may be. Put your feet on the ground in the morning as if it's already been it's obtained. And look for ideas and inspiration within this interrelationship as you're living as if this has been achieved. What are the ideas and inspiration that you're pulling from these experiences? Maybe it's just you're dressing a little differently the way that you're presenting yourself to the world. Um, what have been the reactions of the world to this new you? Is it giving you any ideas? Just put some thought into it. Have a notebook with you at all times and write them down. These are going to come at you very quickly. And what we're going to do at this time is use this information that we're collecting, that we're learning and discerning. We're going to use that to refine our communication and perception nothing more because this is the best use of your energy right now we see here that this hexagram is transitioning into number 18 who repair yes our energy is in a little bit of disrepair right now um, that doesn't mean that everything is um, you know lost we've lost no we haven't um, it our energy is in a little bit of disrepair and this is probably due to not checking in on ourselves and replenishing our energy as we should. I'll give you a little story. Um, I saw my um, Chinese medicine holistic doctor and I didn't receive any new um, herbs or any teas that I need to take or any uh, anything else in my regimen other than being prescribed 20 minutes of beauty a day. And I thought about it. That makes complete sense. I had been overbooking myself. My energy, um, well, uh, my energy is very important that I work with the energy and chi of everyone around me, all of my clients, my friends and family. So it's of utmost importance that I take care of my own energy. It's important um, that we all enter into our day as whole as we can. And 20 minutes of beauty was what I needed. Maybe 20 minutes of beauty is what you need. Maybe you just need to take a nap. I'll tell you, um, that's preferred this week over doing unnecessary busy work, um, churning out paperwork or marketing materials or um, scheduling um, meetings. The work needs to be done within. So if you're here right now watching this, receiving this energy at the right time, you're doing exactly what you should be doing. We're going to make our energy as whole as we can for ourselves. And in fact, with that being said, I'm gonna take us back to our stress reduction software. And I'm gonna go ahead and send us all some stress redu reduction protocols courtesy of the system Ooh. and here we here we go um, the system has generated uh, from its she motion empowering words of wisdom has generated don't allow the crayon box of your life to be filled entirely with the color gray how poignant these are not planned this just happens to tie in perfectly with what we were just talking about um, 20 minutes of beauty a day. I think we all need it. Don't allow the crayon box of your life to be filled entirely with the color gray. What does that mean to you? Think about it. Write these words down. Share with me in the comments if this resonates with you. And do you feel any calling to make any changes within your life to add beauty, to replenish your energy, to do things that aren't busy work, to do things that aren't depleting of our energy. 
Don't allow the crayon box of your life to be filled entirely with color gray. So before we go here, I'm gonna clear these issues issue fields. I'm gonna clear out any last lingering negative stressed um, imbalances in our field and let, let the software do its thing and harmonize. So it would be harmonizing um, negative control. That's high. A lot of us are trying to control um, by doing a lot of busy work. So these are things that may be resonating with you or they may be resonating with stories that you've heard or um, something you've seen on the news or in a movie. But all of these things impact a level of our consciousness. So coming back to the software, I'm letting the system run. It will be doing several sessions on us. We're a big group here. And um, it will be sending harmonizing energy to reduce stress. And I'm happy to do it, happy to share it with you. If you're interested in this um, software, reach out to me and I'll be happy to um, share with you more, especially if you're a professional and this is something that resonates with you and your clients. Coming back to our Yi Jing reading, and we talked about the magic and living as if we've achieved our goal and then really exploring that interrelationship and looking for ways to refine um, how we're approaching this situation in mind. And we talked about our energy being in a state of disrepair right now. Sounds terrible, <laughs> but it's not because um, even though our problems seem overwhelming and out of hand, we own our success. We own it. So through assertive action and planting those seeds, just planting the seeds, not through a lot of exertion, and just putting out the positive energy towards this goal is going to help us own our success. Don't look to outside sources to save you. Don't think someone's going to discover me. Someone's going to come rescue me from this situation. Um, you own it. Make sure you own it. Be assertive. Believe you can do it. If you see others doing it, that's a sure indication that you can too. So look for those signs. And don't blame outside sources for your state of inertia, inactivity. Don't put any blame on any other outside sources, people, um, events. We own it. And it's going to be through our assertive work that we become successful. And getting us in the right energetic state and up-leveling will get us there. So... Did this Yi Jing reading resonate with you this week and what you're going through? I would love to hear more about your stories. And if you want to get really personal and go through this and ask me questions and share your experiences and we can get a little bit deeper with these ancient and modern modalities to explore your personal, your personal story and help you in guiding you to help make your best decisions based on the ancient interrelationships of nature and using feng shui, then check out my website, follow the links in the channel, and look for energy upgrade within my services. There are several options available. Some of them even include a keepsake video or guest appearance right here on energy upgrade feng shui tips. That being said, let's talk about some feng shui tips that you can put into place right away uh, to help carry through this beautiful energy that we're creating. We talked more today about helpful people energy, and we know helpful people, we've talked about it before, it's going to be a common theme in 2021, I just know it. Here is the Bagua energy map. We are going to align these lower three Guas on top of our floor plan and the entrance is going to fall either in knowledge and wisdom within the life journey or helpful people and so you're going to align this map to the wall and looking at the front right section or room of your house maybe it's your garage maybe it's a master bedroom maybe it's a living room 
this helpful people area is what we're going to do some work on today based on um, all of the information that we've learned from the EJ. So this element is ruled, this, this gua is ruled by the metal element in nature, which is created and nourished by earth. And it is depleted, ooh, little break, break in news. Here's another empowering words of wisdom from our software. All great changes are preceded by chaos. Ooh, good one, good one for this week, okay? All great changes are preceded by chaos. Contemplate it, write it down, think about it. What does it mean to you? Tell me about it in the comments, your experience. I think maybe this disrepair, this chaos that we are experiencing in this week is telling us that there's a great change ahead. And I can't wait to hear what these great changes are. I would love to hear it if you know what yours is. Maybe it's obtaining your goal. Okay, so let's clear that out. I'm gonna run it one more time since we're a big group now, we're growing our channel. If you're new here, make sure that you hit like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when I'm uploading more content. We are going to go ahead and clear these lingering issues from our collective aura field and harmonizing our energy to our own best 100%. Going back to helpful people, it's ruled by the metal element and um, the metal element can be represented in colors of white and gray uh, also metallics of course and you can also represent the metal element in round shapes orbs circles and what i'm going to ask you to do this week is take a look at your room in that front right area and sense and get a read on if there's any imbalance is there too little metal, metal element uh, is there too much if there's too little you can add something metallic uh, made of metal you can add something white or gray uh, metallic colored circular or of an orb maybe it's a globe Add something with the intention to attract the best, most helpful people to help you obtain your goal that you're working on right now. And do so by visualizing deeply that you're achieving this goal. So we're going to, to align and attune your energy with your mindset, all the levels of your subconscious and also with your body and we're going to say with our voices a mantra so you can simply say i am attracting my helpful people i am attracting my tribe i am magnetized to my community and whatever affirmation you choose to say maybe you choose to say the lord's prayer that's completely fine. I want you to place your object with intention in a beautiful way to create a beautiful vignette that when you look at it, you're reminded that you are sending out uh, the energy to attract your people and they will find you. So that's your homework assignment um, for this week until I rejoin you with another energy upgrade or feng shui tip. And before I leave, I want you to look at health and well-being in the center of your home. This is really important, I feel, with um, what we've discussed today in terms of our energy being depleted because we're spending it in the wrong ways. We're depleting our energy. And I mentioned and shared with you the advice from my Chinese medicine doctor that I need 20 minutes of beauty a day. Um, and I think that's good advice for all of us right now with, uh, with the energy of the earth and of this week. Health and well-being at the center of the home is ruled by the earth element and it's represented by this lovely golden yellow. Um, I always picture yellow um, mums in particular, just that beautiful golden color. And also earth tones, of course, are great here. Anything of the earth tone color that represents earth to you, but also square shapes. 
cubes. These also represent the earth element in this case. So I want you to go within the center of your home. First, make sure there's no clutter there. If there's clutter, you're gonna have stagnant area in your health and well-being, your Tai Chi center. And we don't need that right now. So if you have all of your mail collected in the center of your home, paper especially is the worst, um, you have a lot of dirty shoes or something of that nature, clear the clutter. If you feel so inclined, clear with, with your Palo Santo or your sage or incense, clear the energy of this Tai Chi health and well-being area of your home. And then place something with intention using your mind, visualizing deeply and also using your mantra and also using a hand symbol so maybe it's prayer hands i love to use prayer hands it's easy but you can use any any favorite mudra that you have from that you've used in, in meditation or yoga and tying these things together is going to really help solidify attune and align your energies so before I go, I'm going to check back and see what's going on. We have a few seconds left to see what happens with our intuitive discernment software. I thank you so much for being with me today in this energy upgrade session. It's been wild. I really, I, I never know what's going to happen. I love the outcomes and what I've learned and shared with you today. And I hope it carries with you throughout the next week with joy and best energy. And that being said, the law of rhythm, the tides go in, the tides go out. Wow. So again, I feel that really resonates with our conversation and what we've learned today from um, what we've learned from the Yijing and our discussions, the law of rhythm, the tide goes in and the tide goes out. Nothing is forever. Nothing is ever the same energy. What does it mean to you? If it means something special, if this really resonated with you, drop me a note in the comments. I, I would love to see what you have to say about this and share with me your experience. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, turn on your notifications to receive more energy upgrades. And if you wish to work with me on a personal level, you can contact me via the links and um, see about getting your own energy upgrade or your own feng shui consultation, virtual or in person. And if you want to learn more about what I do as a profession and you're feeling a calling to joining Feng Shui, you also can follow the links. I am the co-founder and um, co-mentor trainer with the Intrinsic School of Feng Shui, headed up by myself and Steve Kodad. We are... Um, we're really uh, powerful and growing as a school, and I'm so proud of the success of each of our students that we're mentoring. In fact, I'm getting ready to head out and meet with one right now, mask and everything, of course. But I'm so very proud of what we've started and this community that we're growing because the world needs more of us. If you're feeling that calling, then ask me about the Intrinsic School of Feng Shui. If you want to learn more about your own DIY or your own personal practice, we also are offering your own self-guided video package, um, all the foundations of Feng Shui as we practice it, and we would love to share it with you. And it has been a great joy to spend this time with you. Have a beautiful, beautiful week ahead. I can't wait to check in with you again next time. And um, that being said, I'm Lisa Alden, certified feng shui professional and um, provided this energy upgrade for you the first full week in February. Many blessings times nine.